So, uh... Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think I'm Dean, and... I, I think he's Dean. And you're... I'm pretty sure I'm Donnie. Okay. And, and... I I think this is Button Jam? Oh, <laughs> uh, we're, we're tackling a much different subject than we usually tackle today. Yeah, and that's... we just, you know, we've been talking about for a while just having, like, regular jam sessions that are us ranting about random shit. Yeah. And... While we could do that while playing a video game, you know, like some people would, it's just, <laughs> it just feels better to like, you know, let the game stand on its own, enjoy the game for the game, and have mm. our discussions about other things elsewhere. Yeah, so uh, if you're listening to us... Uh, so this will not be very impressive visually, I No. Think. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but if you're listening to us, sit back, kick back, grab a soda, or... Whatever you kids do these days, and anyways, we're talking about Batman versus Superman because we both saw it, and Ooh. I saw it twice. <laughs> you saw it three times. Uh, we're fucking idiots. Yes. Although I... <laughs> there are reasons why we saw it for more than once, and we we saw the movie multiple times. The point being, for stupid A lot of reasons, it, yeah, and... stupid reasons that involve like. Telling our friends how fucking baffled we were by it. And, like, it started with Dean seeing it, because mm-hmm. there was a, a a related person who was, <laughs> for some reason, very excited about this film. Mm-hmm. We we saw Deadpool, the trailer for it came on. Yeah. And they whispered at Dean, and they're like, I'm really excited about that movie. <laughs> and I'm just like... <laughs> Why? Okay. Uh, so, I I just, just so then he saw it. Yeah, he told me about it. And yeah, I was like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? How could this? How could any of that be true? So, and yeah. then we saw it for April Fools. We saw it for yeah. April Fools. Yeah, yeah. This year we saw it the day before April Fools, and then the next day it was like. We got a we 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 saw it twice on April Fools. Basically, is how that worked out. Because we went after midnight the first time, and then what am I doing with my life? We're we're pretty fucking stupid. But this movie, I I think it's safe to say that we didn't like this movie. I didn't like this movie. You didn't like this movie. This is not a. This is not a. Do you recommend? This is a. Do not recommend. (laughs) Right out the bat, don't see this movie. But. We have to say, like... If you saw it, then... Okay. And and if you saw it and you liked it, feel free to explain to us why. I I'm genuinely want, I genuinely want to know what positives people took away from this. Because Cause I, I didn't take anything positive. I've I've got nothing. To, I mean, this, this movie just is... I, I got into an in-depth discussion with someone. <laughs> tra- because yeah, they did. apparently enjoyed the film. <laughs> and I couldn't tell... If they were messing with me or not. But nothing that they said really convinced me. Um, And a lot of it was just so... I I, I could not tell if they were serious or not. Okay, so let let me just start with the the, the biggest issue that I had the second I came out of the movie. And that's the editing. The editing in this movie gave me whiplash. Every few minutes they would cut from scene to scene. And I had an argument with my friend about this. It's like, okay, he's like, oh, we in in Adventures two, they went from uh, New York to uh, Africa to uh, to South Korea. It's like, okay, and then to the Ukraine. It's like, okay, what they did was they would set up a scene, they would complete the scene in that area, and then they would move to a move area. In this movie, they would start a scene. They would immediately cut to another unrelated scene with no... There's like almost no... Sometimes there would be no relation. Yeah. Sometimes there would be a tangential relation to it. And then they would cut back to that the, the original starting scene. Or maybe they would just cut to a new one. It's it, all over the place. The It just... We had watched another movie afterward. And <laughs> I really don't want to even start bringing it up. Or we're just going to constantly... Compare can, and contrast? Yeah. And I, we might, we might at some point. I think we should, but... but I'm okay. going to stop it for now. Okay. But when we were watching this other film, we we saw, you know, a scene, and it was like... 
the uh, it starts out a character brings up an issue, he explains the issue, then another character takes that moment and establishes the next scene <laughs> by telling another character what needs to be done with this information. That's it. And then the next scene happens. And in and in, in Batman versus Superman, there there are two ways they do this. Either they don't do it, or they do it in such a clumsy and really baffling manner as to muddle the entire point of establishing a scene. Yeah. Like it's it's real clumsy is the best word I can find for this movie because I... everything about it is clumsy. The editing, clumsy. The character motivations, clumsy. The it's, it's not outright missing at some points. Yeah, but like everything is just clumsy about this movie. What but was? What? What was? Mm. Hmm. The problem with the editing isn't just that it's clumsy. Yeah. Every scene is almost necessary, and yet it still feels like you're getting the bare bones of establishing plot points and characterization. Yeah. So, even though the movie is way too fucking long, in my opinion... Oh, God. Um, how long is that movie? It's like, two hours and 20-ish minutes. So, it's over two hours. It's over two oh hours. Oh, my God. It's over two hours, Fucking yeah. Christ. That's... That's unbelievable. Mm. It feels longer. It, it, it does. Because Especially because so much shit is just... You don't get time to process because of the way it's edited, but all of that information is necessary, and yet you still don't get enough information. Yes. So it's kind of like they cut it down to the bare bones, a a scene transitions, you see something happen, or people start talking, and then you move on. Yes. Uh, There's a random scene, for instance, with the the whole Papa Kent thing yeah that I didn't see Man of Steel so I I'm okay. see, completely see, fucking baffled by that I I did see Man of Steel but Man it of was Steel. Yeah. important to be there to remind us that uh, Superman has parents and he cares about them I feel like we should... because eventually <laughs> yeah hey I hope you did not friggin' go into this expecting spoiler free nonsense yes um. Mama Kent gets friggin' kidnapped by Lex Luthor, <laughs> and it's a big plot point because Batman has to realize that their mothers have the same name, and that's all the motivation he needs to not kill this dangerous alien <sighs> who he has been spending, like, two years or whatever plotting to kill. That point is so ham-handed. You could saw my arm off and serve it at holiday season. Like I cannot believe that the good only, joke. I, good, shut up. Good joke. The the only reason that Batman not does not kill Superman is that because their mothers coincidentally share the same name. Really, really? Yeah. Like, is that really a plot point you you want to emphasize here? Because it's... out of all the reasons, they they sh- they both have mothers. They both care for their mothers. Uh, there's there's all sorts of ways that you could say, hey, we have a shared heritage. We 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 you know I was raised in America. I care for this planet. There's all sorts of ways that Superman could say, hey, I care about the planet and I'm not trying to destroy it, despite the fact that the entire movie ha- does not show him in a positive light. Okay, there was we one never- scene. Yo, thinking yeah. about it, other than yeah. the montage... Uh-huh. Which is in the trailer, by the way. Yeah. I I could fucking... You should, you know, you should. If you've seen the trailer, you've seen the movie. Just yeah. stop there. But there's... The, but... There was one... That is the Other than scene, the montage... Yeah. yeah. You never see him save anyone. No. Other than Lois Lane. Other than Lois Lane. You or... see him save Lois Lane all the fucking time. You... But that's selfish shit, because... It's not him being the hero. He's not the savior. He's some guy who's really concerned about his. Not girlfriend. even that. He the movie starts with with uh, yeah, like I said, spoilers. But we always said spoilers. But the movie starts with Jimmy Olsen 
getting his fucking brains blown yeah, out. Jimmy Olsen gets shot in the fucking head. You, I mean, you don't see it, but it's like, <laughs> man, that's really a way I want to start the movie. Like, the first ten minutes of this movie is just depressing. Remember because... when, like, in the comics and stuff, when, you know, Superman was friends with Jimmy Olsen? And... He even gave him, like, a cool watch that was like a help me Superman <laughs> watch. He would hear it anywhere in the world and come and save him. But, because no. Jimmy Olsen's a special guy. Almost as special as Lois Lane, but not as much. <laughs> but this this movie starts with, I mean, like, if I... I mean, I, I made a mental... He didn't save his best friend, no. but he saved his girlfriend. He saved his girlfriend. And this movie just starts with just a, a mental checklist of everything. Let's, let us let me just go through it. Okay. There's buildings being destroyed a la 9-11. Just, yeah. yeah. There's, it, not, it, it's there's not, some not, heavy 9-11 there, There's imagery. no way around it. There's a lot of 9-11 imagery. There's a poor guy who's screaming about his legs being crushed. Like, he's just like, oh, my legs, my fucking legs, I can't feel them. Girl gets nearly crushed by falling debris, and then he uh-huh. po- and then her mommy is like, she's like, uh, Bruce Wayne goes, where's your mommy? And then she points at a building that's already collapsed. Oh, that's that's great. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy Olsen is found out as, like, a CIA agent's plant. For some reason. For some reason. And then he, and then, you know, the the terrorist warlord that in, I, uh, Lois is interviewing, I, I was about to say ISIS there, but, you know. Whatever. It, 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 it might as well, because, yeah, we go from, you know, 9-11 crushing, building, exploding, girl dying, you know, girl looking at her dying mother imagery to ISIS interview, and Jimmy Olsen <laughs> getting ISIS his... ISIS ex- execution, yeah. though. Like, a dis- much yeah. comparatively tame ISIS yeah. execution. Yeah, we cut away from Jimmy Olsen getting his brain splattered against some poor guy's robes, and then... And then we and then we cut from that to Senate hearing about how Superman was so irresponsible as to not save these people because they were shot because he was in the same general vicinity. To be or... fair, I mean I kind of agree with that because uh. he go he does show up uh. and all he saves in this whole friggin' area, this whole incident, is, is it... his girlfriend. Yeah, and he, it, later on. He, you know, goes to talk to Lois about it, and uh, she's like, "You wouldn't believe what they're telling, what they're saying about you, Clark." And he's like, "I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't want to hear it. I, the important. <laughs> I, I don't care about any of that. My girlfriend could have been killed or exploded." And it's like, our hero, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Superman. <laughs> he's, he's our hero. He's our savior. He's a god. And they don't let you forget those words. Yeah. Never, ever, that, ever. That is another thing that this movie does and is completely unsubtle about it. The the savior, Jesus, God analogy. This this idea that Superman is so much better than we are and he is a savior to the human race. But there is nothing in this movie that supports that outside of one single montage. And even that is just like, it's, it's Again, just filmed. He, we never see him save anyone. It's filmed, Other than Lois Lane. And it's filmed in such a way to be as... It's like in slow-mo, it's drab, it's not very exciting. It's, I, it's supposed to be... Again, if... if that, that could have been a really powerful scene uh-huh. um, if it was in a different movie. Yeah. <laughs> if it were in, like, you know, contrast to... I don't know, like a movie where Superman actually does things and saves <laughs> people. I don't know if we've ever had one of those. Um, the first movie. I I can't what I can't speak for that. Okay, the, that's, the first that's movie he really he does things. Ago. They they show him being a hero in the first movie. Okay, they yeah. show him doing things like that. I point being point being if they were to show him saving people throughout the movie, you know, he does things. That don't involve Lois Lane or Batman, you know, like uh, he he goes and he beats up some terrorists, or he goes and he saves a school bus of kids that are driving off of a thing. I I think that was something in Man. You know, I was... but anyway. Yeah. Okay. Then they show the montage, mm-hmm. right? Right. Then it's like, oh, he's saving people, but there's you know also he. Like, just, just contrast it. And not just in the interviews, because that's also the one time we see people uh, who are kind of on Superman's side that are uh-huh. like, 
Superman is is our savior, and you can't judge a god. You know, God has come to us, and all that shit. Not just showing contrast to that, but show the contrast. He saves someone, but in return, like, you know, this this happens. Like, oh, he saves a ship full of people. I think that's a thing. We see him, like, dragging a ship or something. Yeah. And then contrast but it with, But he looks so like, depressed in that scene. Right. He looks <laughs> depressed in all of it. But yeah. contrast that with, like, oh, he, he, here's, uh... I don't know, like, a ship he accidentally blew up in a fight with a giant monster of some kind. Yeah. Here's, uh, he saves, you know, a woman from a flood, from from the, the Katrina-looking flood area or whatever. Yeah. But then, controversially, here's, uh, he caused the flood. Yeah. He, he, he was fighting... I don't know. Another something. giant monster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just just show him fighting shit and like, you know, oh, he actually Unintended consequences. Yeah. Like But there's nothing like and that. And part of it is that they they have all these things like they have an idea that Superman's a good guy and a but also like a bad guy. Uh, no, like a devi- a divisive guy. Sure. There whatever. are people that like him and hate him. Sure. But again, but... one scene one scene where people Other than like the, him. He's done. He's fought no one but Zod. Yeah. Other than that, he goes out and he saves people. Yeah. So why are people divided? He didn't go and like you know personally punch a friggin' school in half or something. <laughs> yeah. You know. And they have ideas. They, and they don't follow up. On there them. are. That's the greatest flaw of this movie. Is there are ideas here that could have worked. But none of them are executed well. And some people say it's because of the editing. But I I don't think you could edit this movie in a different way. I, th- to, I think it's... To save it's, Superman, yeah. Yeah. Or any of it. I think a lot of it starts with the writing, the, a- the, the, the scenes that were chosen to be filmed. Like... We, we probably have to go all the way back to storyboards to fix this film. <laughs> yeah. Oh... Uh. And but <coughs> and then there's but I, I just want you to got you know as of as of this uh, podcast we're we're probably gonna make another one when when it comes out but as of this podcast right now they're uh, reshooting Suicide Squad because there are concerns over the fact that it is not nearly as lighthearted as the trailers have made it out to be because sources there are people that say that sources inform and say that all the jokes that they make in the movie are the only jokes in the entire movie. That makes nah. sense. I mean, the friggin' uh, yeah. Batman vs. Superman, the one, like, funny comment yeah. is... She with you? No, I thought she was with you. Like, <laughs> Yeah. And even, oh, God, that was built up to be, like, clever or comedic or about something. No, it wasn't. They it just seriously say- comes out of nowhere in the movie just so... Just because they needed it for trailer fodder. Yeah. So much of this feels like these scenes exist just to be trailer I, fodder. I guarantee you I can cut 80%. Not any scene. 80% of the movie. Throw 80% of the movie. Just pick 8 out of any 10 moments in that movie. I can cut that into a trailer. Because they always talk like, The rage. That's how it starts. They, that son of a bitch brought the war to us. <laughs> yeah. if, if he isn't... You know, if you have, if there's one percent chance that he is our enemy, then we have to take it as an absolute. Which we, leading we into just quoted the same the- yeah. scene three times. But but like I know, but it's like no, I, I was quoting the scene where the very very first scene where Alfred is talking. Actually, I don't fucking know. yeah, exactly. They all just sort of blend together, don't sure. they? But and speaking of Alfred and Batman, let's let's talk about those guys. Like Batman, I like. Affleck is Batman. I think sure. he's, I think he's fine. I think they should have gotten another. I I like this Alfred, mm-hmm. but when you have him next to Affleck, yeah. they look like they're maybe ten years apart. <laughs> they're they're like, like brothers and not like yeah, and not like I, I I don't know. I don't know what they could have done. The Alfred to me always like looked Jim Gordon. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like he should have been Commissioner Gordon. Jeremy Irons, by the way. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the, the Alfred in this movie was Jeremy Irons. But, I don't um, know any of these actors other than Affleck and <laughs> Eisenberg. 
And Donnie is not an actor guy. I'm not. I'm not typically like a movie guy. Yeah. I we we talk about this all the time. There are yeah. a lot of films that I have not seen through. Yeah. And again, that's there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's just you just have it's not in your sphere of interest or. Um. You know. Well, it was more like I grew up as a really poor child. That too. Uh, but... we did not. Yeah. Going out and seeing movies or buying movies, it was not uh, uh, a luxury we could afford. Yeah, but I mean, like just just through just uh, sometimes you just don't see like a pop culture guy in general. That's just you that just too. ignore a lot of it, and I, that's nothing wrong with that, you know. But it's like, um, anyways, back on track. Like Ab- Alfred Jeremy Irons, charming, you know, playing this old butler who's like you know trending witty banter with Batman, like. That, those were the only scenes that actually had a little bit of levity because they were like talking about like you know things. You know, they were putting it that way. Yeah. You know what's the problem with this movie? Mm-hmm. It feels like two or three different movies. Yes, that could it does. be the problem. Think about it: Superman trying to gain acceptance. That's uh-huh. a movie. Batman trying being an elder batman trying to get over superman that could be a movie doomsday showing up that could be a movie sure wonder woman showing up that that's gonna be a solo movie yeah but like you I mean, see what i mean it's it's all they crammed in all of these movies into one because they're desperately playing catch up to marvel they want this extended universe because Marvel has the Marvel Cinematic Universe. DC has the DC Extended Universe. That's what they're calling their movie universe now. And they, sure. And it's all about. That's all about. It's all the all the Hollywood. Remember execs the see. animated universe. Yes. Remember how that was done, like over time and yes. not all at once. Yes. How they they started with Batman and then there was a Superman. The Batman, and then, Superman, and then there was a crossover. Yes. And, and then, then there then, was the Batman Superman, and then there was then, Justice League. Yeah. And then they took a while before they went to Justice League Unlimited, which yeah. was, I mean, it wasn't just the original Founding Seven. It was then, like, people like The Question and Green Arrow and Captain Adam and all those cool oh, B-level man. guys. And then... I like, uh, I really like The Question in that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, but... <laughs> but anyway. But, yeah. but I was, it's just, you know, for, for, for the hell of saying it, yeah. I mean... But, a lot of the problem is this is the first time we see the Affleck Batman. Yeah. And they try to... They they spend a lot of time showing us who that character is. hmm But they don't spend enough time. Okay. I'm, anyway. Okay. I will admit that the second half, they at least have a tighter focus in that they just finally decide, okay, Batman and Superman are going to fight. That's like the second half ish of the movie yeah God, i guarantee you yeah is actually these not exactly i want to say the second third of the movie because the third third is the is, second third if i want to talk about you know th- is, is that actually like no the the fight between them is the second third or are you talking about C- what, yeah, the, what the fuck are you talking about i was talking about because i'm gonna talk about how in the second half of the movie it is the editing actually kind of improves in that they're no longer cutting between random scenes anymore because it is just this giant fight, right? Sure. It's, but... There, there is a point where they, it's like only shit focus. finally hits the fan uh-huh. and we're no longer jumping between constant scenes because we need to establish a billion different things before we get to that part. No, it's just this part, but... but I... Um, you know, but, I mean, they could have tr- honestly. Mm-hmm. They could have trimmed back some of the the Doomsday fight and stuff. To, they didn't need the Doomsday fight. They, they didn't need it. They 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 did. Ugh, I don't think they did. In, this movie, I feel like this movie could have ended with Batman and Superman making peace and vowing to go after Luthor, and then Luthor decides in the next movie to start the Doomsday project. You know what? Sure. Um, but the question is then, the the final point is that Luthor basically indirectly kills Superman. Yes. He, he so how would you do that otherwise? We could have had it honestly. We could have had it a scene earlier. We could have stopped the whole freaking Martha moment. Mm-hmm. Batman could have killed Superman. Yeah. Skip the Doomsday fight. Maybe. 
like his dying breath is like he he finally gets it through to him and he's like now Martha will die you have to save Martha and he's and he's like what does that mean what are you talking about who is that why did you say that name and then Lois comes and he's like it's it's his mother yeah, we Luthor, did talk about Luthor it. Luthor has, has his mother captive. And he's like, oh, I fucked up. <laughs> oh, shit. And so we have Superman already dead. Mm-hmm. Batman basically does what he does anyway. And he goes and saves Martha Stewart. Mm-hmm. Uh, does Leaves her off wherever the fuck. Because we see her, him save her. And then he just leaves her somewhere. Yeah. Whatever. And then he goes and confronts Lex. Yeah. Bing, bang, boom, it's done. It's done. Um, We didn't need... We didn't even need Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman... We didn't. People are saying that Wonder Woman was... Like, they liked Wonder Woman. I could see why they liked Wonder Woman, but to me, Wonder really didn't do much for me. Because... She she had no purpose in this movie. She was there because they wanted to... Establish marquee value. Like, oh, look, it's Wonder Woman. Everyone recognizes Wonder Woman. Right. You, 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 you like Wonder Woman, don't you guys? Like, I guarantee you, just rewrite some of the dialogue between her and, and Bruce, and you can replace her with any other superhero. It, any well, other superhero. It could, have been, it could have been any one of four superheroes. Hmm. Why? Cause because we, we need to establish the Justice League. Here. Yeah, they they establish the Justice <sighs> but, League, which again doesn't make any fucking sense. The whole thing well, is. Yeah, they 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 show off viral clips of movies that are upcoming. Which... Someone had the audacity to tell me at least they're more honest. At least they're more oh, honest. Shut by... up with that, okay? But I actually kind of like the viral video mm. thing in retrospect. Mm. But the again, it's it's a good idea. It's an interesting idea. The way they went about it is ham-fisted. Why is Lex Luthor the person who knows about this? Why does Batman only find out through them? Because Lex Why- Luthor is like trying to keep tabs on all these like gods, the last- and he doesn't want them to come to power. Da- anyway, the the fucking final moment should have been after Batman kills Superman <laughs> in this reimagining, mm-hmm. and he's. L- and he's talking to Wonder Woman because she was in this movie for some reason. Mm-hmm. And he's like, and she's like, well, what do we do now? And he's like, I have an idea. We're not the only ones out there. <laughs> there you go. And then like. That's it. She's like, what do you mean? And then they can tease like the, the, the thing. Yeah. And then the next movie is him trying to establish the Justice League or whatever. He goes out and he seeks the Flash, the Aquaman, the Cyborg. Yeah, those are the three that they hinted at. Flash, yeah. Wonder Woman, uh, Flash, Cyborg, Aquaman, and now there's Wonder Woman. Yeah. So that's, what, six of them already? Sure. Um, I'm trying to keep count here so I know who's going to be in the in the movie as the founding members of the Justice League. I guess those those are six. the founding members. I think no, there's 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 one more. It's got to be. But it, people are, are sure? saying they're not going to do Green Lantern because DC fucking screwed the pooch with right. their Green Lantern movie. They're, so they're not going to do Green Lantern because it's because it's not uh, Green Lantern's unlikable, right? It's not that that movie was just a total shit show. <laughs> I. <laughs> Who is it again that said that I could see why... Was it one of our friends that said that I could see why DC is straying away from funny? Because they tried to be, like, lighthearted with Green Lantern, yeah. and that bombed, like... Yeah, I, I so they get, thought that, like, funny, going funny... Funny like, don't sell it, money, to quote a yeah. certain cornet, but, uh... <laughs> but, um... But that's not the true... That's not true at all. And in fact, I mean, you take all those Green Lantern elements... Even add the edginess of this Batman vs Superman. Uh huh. You have Deadpool. Yeah. Which sold phenomenally. Yeah. Which is going to be what they try to mimic with these new friggin' uh, Suicide Squad bits. I I guarantee it. Guarantee it. There's gonna be a moment where fucking like Harley Quinn just pegs a dude. <laughs> I guarantee. It. God. Oh God and. 
I mean, speaking of dark and edgy, didn't like murder Batman. I was okay with it. Thomas Wayne from Flashpoint was probably yeah. <laughs> one of my favorite Batman. I, those... I love because I like antiheroes. For, yeah, for, for that, the, yeah. and that's my greatest. Okay, go. I was gonna say, for, for those who don't know, uh, WB animated movies, which are supremely good. Like these movies are really good. They they're good standalone movies too. They know shit about superheroes. Yeah. They they know shit about superheroes. And if you want to if you want to get in like certain like actual like comic books, these are a great jumping off point because they do a good job of condensing plot points and and summarizing it for you. And it's like, oh, I should read the full comic yeah. to get the full story. Well. One of the comics is, uh, one, of the one of the movies is Justice League Flashpoint, yeah. and I think it's actually called the Flashpoint the, Paradox. The Flashpoint Paradox, which is like based that. on the Flashpoint. I, I, we, should, we should we should go look this movie title up so we know what we're talking about. But point is, Whatever. is that Flash goes back to save his own mother, and in doing so, screws up the fu- or his his current future or his yeah. his, his, his it, present. Everything goes into a butterfly effect, and. Mm. Everything's turned on its ass. Instead of uh, Bruce's parent uh, parents dying and he becomes Batman, he dies. Thomas Wayne becomes a drunken mess, uh, buys a casino for some reason. <laughs> he becomes Punisher uh, Batman. Yeah, he, he basically becomes the Punisher as Batman. And, and his mother goes insane and is the Joker, I guess? They, they hint at it. They don't show it in that movie, yeah. but they hint at it, yeah. which is awesome. I think it was shown more in the yeah. comics S- superman was like captured at birth and he's basically just a test subject that they experiment on it's yeah. all like messed up it's, it's such a dark but it's a, it's a dark in a good way movie because they take they show they don't tell that's another strength of the animated movie that batman versus superman doesn't do it doesn't it just tells it never shows yeah like but it's, going back yeah uh batman, reason you yeah. brought this up yeah. Thomas Wayne, he's a drunken wreck of an anti-hero. Yeah. He's he's the Punisher. Yeah. He outright murders people. Just the the scene that he's in, that he's introduced in, is him fighting some kind of Harley Quinn yo-yo wielding woman with fucking gun kata, <laughs> basically. <laughs> yeah. And big, it's it's incredible. Big fan of equilibrium. Um <laughs> And I I would I would be fine with that. Yeah. Um, but murder murder man Batman doesn't bother me too much. Yeah. But in this context, he does because the justification is well. There's two justifications basically. Like the first is that the idea I get it. The idea is that Superman is such an unbalancing presence in this world. That Batman feels the need to resort to such extreme means, but that's I, never no. But that's yeah, that's never spelled out for you in the movie. That's not even, okay. Even that aside, yeah. Why You're supposed does to... why does what Superman does? Do's, why does why do why, what Superman why does? Why is it that what Superman does? Yes, causes Batman to brand people. So that they can be basically murdered and beaten in prison. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? That doesn't the, make any fucking sense. The idea that Batman has fallen so far in his morals that he just starts shooting people is... Mm. I mean, that's... That's an idea that could work in a better executed movie, but they don't execute it here. Well, yeah. No. All, all you see is it's, Batman it's just... It's just kind of there. If if you could have a Batman movie mm-hmm. where he starts out and again again like something to establish probably over a series of movies have a Batman movie where he starts out you know and is like no I don't I I don't kill people and he he, he encounters a Joker they hint at uh, a death in the family in this they, they where, hint at Jason Todd yeah. yeah. Where, you know, uh, Joker kills Robin. Yeah. One of the Robins. Yeah. Um, that could have been a movie. They could have done that. Have that be the point. Batman's, like, punching the shit out of the Joker. And he's like, go on, kill me. Snap. Push that extra limit. And he's like, 
just shaking with rage. And then he has a mo- moment like at the end of this movie where he just punches the wall mm. and is like, you know, slaps the cuffs on him. It's yeah. like, no, it would be too easy. You know, like, like, yeah, uh, yeah. This uh, is such the, a the classic. Red, yeah, the Red Hood. Under the moment. Red Hood. Yeah. The, the animated movie, Under the Red Hood. He does something like that, too. Yeah. It's, it. I, I don't, I, it's. And. I think I don't know. It, it it sounds like it it ends up you know this is coming off like mm-hmm. oh just show us the same thing over and over again but I'm just using these as examples of these are ways these could be handled mm-hmm. you have a movie like that where we establish no matter how far he's pushed he's not going to break that point he's not going to kill anyone yeah. And then we have this movie where Superman does something so unthinkable. He's like, I, I am willing to go that extra step right. to get this man. Okay. Where we and again, like fuck the branding thing. That's stupid ass. Have things like. Like the car chase or whatever, where he's trying to get the kryptonite. <laughs> and he's just and machine he's, gunning people. Yeah, and he's just like blowing shit up like this is Arkham Knight. Um, just have that scene. Like, he, he's so desperate to get this thing that'll kill Superman. And again, I don't think he even knows at that point what, what he's chasing down. I'm he pretty just, sure he knows. He just knows. He? No, I think he just knows that it's... Something tied to Lex Luthor and Lex Luthor is bad news. I think he does know. I don't know either. It, it, he wasn't again. It wasn't spelled out in the movie. Oh, because he's like, you're going after a ship, or the yeah. white Portuguese. And then yeah. no, he does spell it out. He knows what it is, and that's when he says the line: "If there is a one percent chance that Superman's our enemy, right, that's right. why he knows. Okay. That's why okay. he knows. That's right. why he is so desperate." But. So then, yeah, you know, show that he's, like, willing to go through all these means. He becomes the Superman-type person well, that he hates, basically. He, he he would see, you know, that he's gone... <sighs> okay. He knows he's he going... He blows up yeah. all this shit, trying to chase down this thing so that he can get the kryptonite, so that he can kill Superman or whatever, so that he can, he can fight Superman, at least. Yeah. yeah. And then have... That moment later, where he's, you know, got Superman beaten down, and he realizes he's become what he fears Superman is. He caused all that collateral damage, and for what? He thinks he's doing the right thing, he's fighting his Zod, his big monster man. It's shit you can do to make this story work. Yeah. But... It just doesn't... They're trying to do too much, too fast, and it just ends up a complete mess. Yeah. Like, one of our friends kept saying to me, you know, that there are ideas here. There are. You could make this work. Yeah, there are. But, but um, this movie does not work. Speaking of things that don't work, okay. uh, we're going to go into this. Sure. Lex Luthor. Oh, mm. Mm. the 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 mm. mistake that even I I don't want to say they admit to the mistake because a lot of if if you look at a lot of their friggin' press shit and kind of like the Suicide Squad thing, they backpedal so hard on their ideas. Like once they see something's not well received anymore, they're so afraid. That they immediately backpedal on it. Oh, that's not Lex Luthor. That's 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 Luthor, the son of Luthor. That's Luthor Junior. So that's why he's not a a mega. He's, that's why he's not a megalomaniac. Who is? Well, he is, but they, they confuse megalomaniac with weird guy. Because because it's a Jesse Eisenberg character where he always plays like a weird nerdy guy. Guy, yeah, yeah, and. A lot of it comes off, like, because he's so eccentric, and he says weird things. Yeah. He does that, he has that scene where he's, like, uh, explaining, was it with the Zeus thing? 
Yeah, I'm bad at mis- mythology. I don't. I don't remember what he was even talking about. I don't that know. Scene. He's it's, giving a speech to a crowd. I turn yeah. off my fucking mind every time he was on screen because if I think too hard about this character, I I would go insane. <laughs> but he's and also he talks really fast. He's like you know you just and he threw him a little lightning bolt. Pew! But that's that's the line. That's the scene. Yeah. He's like Zeus hit him with a lightning bolt. Pew! Seems a little overreacting, doesn't it? Or something like that. And it's like, no one's laughing. No <laughs> no, no one... Everyone in the crowd was no, visibly pulling at their collars. Yeah. <laughs> no one in the movie is laughing at what he's doing or what he's saying. And the audience no, sure as fuck isn't laughing. Yeah. Like, Everybody... Like, the movie is as confused about this character as we are. Is he supposed to be intimidating right now? Is he supposed to come off a little weird? Is he supposed to be charming? I don't know. They don't know. <laughs> like, what was his character? The thing, but the the problem, the another problem is that like, okay, I I get it that like a, a villain making a I don't like the, or I am doing this as my reason speech might be a little trite, a little bit cliche, but at the end when he's giving his big speech to Superman about like why he's doing all this. He's not saying direct things like, I hate you because you are what you stand for, or you are what I hate, or I hate you. It kind of does, but it's like... It's coached in so many bizarre similes, and in like like trailer speak. He's not saying actual... He's not speaking human dialogue, he's speaking trailer dialogue. He's, He's not speaking how a normal human would speak to another human being. He's not saying, I don't like you, Superman. You caused all these problems. You you did this to us. You destroyed buildings. He's saying, you you are the devil. Even, you are a devil with wings. And I am an angel. And I'm here to, you know, he's not like he's not actually not saying that, that. But like, he's saying in that sort of manner, you know. Sure. He's making bizarre similes and, and uh, metaphors instead of just outright saying something, you know. On that note. Mm-hmm. I could maybe even take that. Mm-hmm. I I could take that moment, that speech, mm-hmm. if it weren't the same shit that he and every other character in the movie was saying over and over <laughs> again. Everyone's like, "Oh, he's a god. Oh, he's a demon. <laughs> he's he's an angel. He's he's our savior. No, he's, he's, the, he's the destruction of the human race." Yeah. And we have to... And, the, and he's... Luther gives his speech, and he's like, if if there is a god, he cannot be almighty, and if he is almighty, he cannot be all good. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. And fine. Okay. Sure. The rest of the movie already established that as, <laughs> yeah. an, as an idea. You, know, you don't need they, to regurgitate. You regurgitate. There was the montage, there were all these other scenes where it's like, Superman could have saved these people, why didn't he save these people? Oh, look, our savior's not perfect, he's not all-powerful, he's not almighty. So that doesn't work for what Luthor is doing, <laughs> yeah. what he's saying. And if that is the case, like, it's it's still weak characterization. Why does that drive him to create a unkillable Hulk. Oh, yeah. Like, okay, Luthor goes through 80% of the movie with an elab- super elaborate scheme in order to frame Superman, which is fraught with so many ways that it could go wrong that, like, it's somehow a miracle that it works. But, okay, fine. And even then, it doesn't. Really. Yeah, that, like, it's like, okay, fine. You, you've set up this el- super elaborate scheme that either Superman kills Batman and... Uh, you, you've gotten rid of one of the obstacles to your path to power because there's no more Batman, or you, or Batman kills, or yeah, or or and Batman or Superman kills Batman, and then you discredit Superman by saying, "Look, he killed Batman." Okay, or you can set it up as Batman kills Superman, and Superman is now removed, and Superman is no longer a threat to me. Right? Like that's how that's how he's setting it up. But he's sure. but in the end, it comes down to nothing because his plans fail on either front. But he somehow knew that those plans were going to fail, so he created a a super monster, an uncontrollable super monster who every time you kill only comes back even stronger. Like, 
this is a point where if you're fighting fire with fire, you're trying to set... It's like, oh man, my own house is on fire. I should put it out with water. No, my own house is on fire. I should drop a nuke on my house so that... I can, I can stop the fire. I, you can't, you can't, this fire can't spread if there's no more house left. No, we need to create an even stronger, unkillable monster that emits EMPs to try and Again, kill Superman. I guess part of it is that he doesn't, it's, it's, it's difficult stupid. to even make sense of. It's difficult to even it's... discredit because it's not even well established. It's just there. It's... He does a thing... He says this is why he's doing what he does, and we're supposed to just take that at face. And he doesn't. He's... But it doesn't. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't work. Point A plus point B does not equal the Hulk. Yeah, and and it's just frustrating because Doomsday is just a wasted character. They wanted to do the Death of Superman arc. And they squeeze it into the last 20 minutes of this movie. That's another thing. Like, again, they, we're talking, you know, going back to it. This is this is three different movies in one. Yeah. They were in such a rush. This is the but, first Affleck Batman movie. This is the Batman versus Superman movie. And this is the Doomsday movie. It's amazing how... Amazing. It's amazing how they were t- trying to take their time on this movie to get it right. And it still feels rushed. It's been three years between Man of Steel and and uh, Batman vs Superman, and it still somehow feels rushed. That's because it they don't they did it didn't, is because they didn't they didn't take time with other movies. Yeah, like I they wanted to go straight into this for some reason. They they didn't want it's if you're trying to compete with Marvel, I mean, feel free to ape that formula. But do you know? it well. But do start, it start well. Start with the Superman thing. Move on to Batman. Maybe have a Wonder Woman there. Then have Batman versus Superman. Then have the death of Superman. Then have the Justice League. Then, you know, then do whatever the fuck you want because you've done it right. I don't. I don't want to hate this movie because I wanted. I mean, I don't. I, I, I understand. From, yeah. from the moment that I saw the trailer, I knew I was oh, yeah. going to hate this movie. But, but. Conceptually, I don't want to hate it. Yeah, I I want to see a good Batman. I I want to see good DC movies. I I was a DC fan yeah. long before I was a Marvel fan. Yeah, I I grew up, you know, Batman the animated series, uh, Superman, Superman the animated, animated series. series. Yeah, I watched pretty much all of DC uh, animated universe. Oh yeah, I watched. I've watched all of, if not just a lot of, the DC animated movies. <laughs> I believe we've watched I've even read... most of, like, Static Shock together. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, why didn't we finish watching that? I think we ran out of episodes. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Funny thing is, like, we, we watched a whole bunch of this nonsense. Like, we don't hate DC. I don't want to hate this in 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 spirit, but all I see, all I see when I look at these movies are Hollywood executives desperately trying to to ride oh, yeah. the marvel train yeah. and you know what if you want to ride the marvel train fine but do it right do it in a way that i care do it in a way that i can tell that this isn't just some sort of horrible cash cow that i know that you're going to exploit like please i'm i would not hate this movie i i, I would if i if this movie were good i would be screaming its praises i would be telling people go see it but i i can't i have to tell people don't see this movie because I, there's nothing here. You were saying this earlier. Who is this movie for? Like, yeah, I don't think I said that. You know, on, yeah. on on record. Yeah, but that was one of the first things that occurred to me after watching this movie is I don't know who this is set to please <laughs> because anyone who's like a fan of uh, the comic books or. Mm-hmm. Uh, the old cartoons or anything. Yeah, they're gonna go into this, and they're probably not gonna like it. Yeah, some of them might be like, "Oh, I appreciate you know this. I I kind of like this idea." Yeah, but I don't know. Like as the general audience, I don't think are gonna be that into it. They're they're not gonna understand why suddenly like Batman's like a murder guy. Yeah. 
I don't, I don't want to speak for audiences because it's yeah. like a very, it's, very it's, general. But it's like, kids I, aren't going to... I'm going to say for, for a fact, kids aren't going to like this. They're going to be bored as hell. There's there's nothing there there's, except for the final fight at the end. We compared it uh, uh-huh. at one point to like the Star Wars prequels. Yeah. Because there's a lot of bits. They show courtrooms. And I get it that like some of it is there to establish more Superman Political and Lex drama. Luthor thing. Yeah, but but not cool. Yeah, it's it's just uh, Superman yeah. gets taken to court. <laughs> there's there's a Senate hearing. Yeah, and it's like kids aren't gonna want to see that. They're not gonna be interested in people being all like. He's God. You can't judge God. He's, he's, he's a menace. You know, whatever. Like, people talking back it's, and it's, forth. It's a very dry sort of thing. And I want to contrast this with the Senate scene in Iron Man 2. What happens? He walks in. He's all swagger and confidence. He, you know, he's, you know, they have an entertaining back and forth. He hacks into one of their monitors to show off why other Iron Man prototype suits aren't working. And they keep... They keep it to one scene, and it's five minutes, and it establishes more about the character, and you get it. It's like, oh, you know, Iron Man is not bowing to the will of the government. He's privatized security, and he's a swag motherfucker who all the ladies want to jump his dick. It's like, <laughs> that's it. That's it. Like, you don't... But in this in this movie, it's just like, Superman's a menace. No, he's not. Superman's a menace. No, he's not. Just... Back and Ugh. forth, over and over again. Ugh, just makes my head hurt. Like, and that's, it's just so that's kind of another thing. I'm, that's that's kind of another thing. Yeah, where I'm saying like this cannot be saved in editing. Yeah, is you you have all these scenes are essential, uh-huh. but never for what's going on as far as. <sighs> okay. So there's that scene where Superman shows up in court, yeah, and Lex Luthor blows it up, yeah, and there are like three different things going on in that scene. Yes, one of them is Superman on trial, another is Super uh, Lex Luthor blowing up a guy, uh-huh. um, to both frame Superman and to make Batman feel more guilty about shit. Yes, um, and. The third is whatever Luthor's conflict with that uh, judge woman was. Oh, with, with Senator. He didn't like the Senator because she blocked, she was trying to block him importing kryptonite. Okay, sure. Um. Oh, and they kill Mercy uh, in that scene, too. And they kill Mercy. Well, that, that's not <laughs> she's not. She's she's not a character. It's just kind of lame. That, I, 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 I think it's just kind of lame that they just kill off If they were going to blow up Mercy, I want them... To, I would have wanted them to bring Robo-Mercy in. Yeah. You know? Have friggin' Lex Luthor be like, we can rebuild her. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just build a robotic Mercy Graves, which would be awesome, but whatever. Yeah, and he could even work that in, like, he, he kill He... he Superman blew up a guy, and you know Kill- you were caught in the explosion. And we we we're we're trying to save you because I care, Mercy. I care a lot, and we're gonna put kryptonite in your heart. <laughs> I don't know. And then, so, uh, yeah, but, 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 combine Metallo and Mercy Graves. There sure. you go. Like I don't know, but, uh, something. Yeah. Yeah, but um, fuck it. What are we Th- talking? Those about? three things in that scene. Sure. Um, but all of those. The, the the Lex Luthor trying to manipulate Batman thing doesn't really go anywhere. Because Batman's already pissed. <laughs> yeah. So we could have used that to, you know, move something else along. We could have, uh, rather than, like, this nonsense fucking senator shit, use that to move something else along. Um, uh, Superman being friggin... Having to stand trial or whatever, f- fine. Mm-hmm. That could have been a scene. That could have been a scene to show us a little bit of his humanity. Yeah. And again, maybe they could like make that a little bit longer. Maybe Superman actually gets to say something at the hearing. Yeah. Doesn't happen. No. Um, and even then, it's it's questionable whether or not that would, like, how much can he do there? Yeah, he can. 
It, it could have established that he at least cares. Yeah. Because so far all we've established is that he doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't care about how many people die so long as, you know, his his bone zone friend or girlfriend is still alive. Yeah, it's... It's like, man, it sucks that all those people, including Jimmy Olsen, died. Let's fuck in the tub. Well, I don't know, I'm... I think I'm done. I, I've not. I don't have anything else to say about this. I've I've, I feel, I've tapped the well dry. I feel like we've not even scratched the surface. We've gone for an hour. And you... We we freaking talked a lot in fucking yeah. circles. Yeah, I don't know. There's I've... so much more. But I feel like yeah. the the bottom line of it, and yeah. maybe this didn't even need to be this long to say. Yeah, it could have been. It could have been good. This is a, I, I again. If this movie, I wanted this movie to be good. I, I, I looked at the trailers like, okay, maybe this isn't going to be great. But I, it went from not great to just offensive almost. Just this, this movie is just depressing. Like there's, it's depressing in not all the sense that there's no levity in it. But it's depressing in the idea that just they had this great idea and they couldn't they couldn't make it work, like that, that's just too that's just depressing in two ways already. Like, yeah, I I don't know. I I, I can't recommend this movie. If, if, no. I, I know I know we're guys that don't do number scores. But if I would give this a number score, I give it an F minus. <laughs> wow. <laughs> F minus five stars. <laughs> I I get it. Okay, I understand the joke. <laughs> okay, just anything else you want to say at the end, in closing here? Because man, that Martha scene pissed me off. <sighs> so it could have been handled better. It could have like so many things else. Yeah, they just they needed time to establish things, and they didn't take that time. No, nope. that's. That's how you can summarize this whole movie. They never, they didn't take the time to establish characterization, to establish plot points, to establish a goddamn universe. It's just, just clumsy and depressing. Those are, the, those are the two words I would use to describe this. And Jesse Eisenberg should not play, you know, characters that are supposed to be taken seriously. <laughs> Yeah. Or no, he shouldn't play characters that are supposed to be intimidating. He he plays he plays lighthearted goofs. What was he in Zombieland? Lighthearted goof. What was he in uh Social Network? Goof. Nerdy goof. What was he in People Na- wanted him to be Scott Pilgrim cuz he was, you know, <laughs> a perfect goofy nerdy guy. Yeah, like he he was a goof, and now you can see me. You saw I didn't see American Ultra, and he, yeah, I saw it. And he and, was a goof, right? Uh, more or less. Yeah, he was a that was that was a game uh, game movie. <laughs> so used to talking about games. Yeah, that was a movie where he played. It, it, it he tried to go toward the serious side. Yeah. Like, the idea was, it, oh, here's like a regular Jesse Eisenberg character. And then it's like, no, nah, just kidding. He's a super murder agent. Yeah. But, but you know. He's goofy because he doesn't understand his powers and all that. Well, he doesn't understand anything, really. <laughs> he, he doesn't understand that he's a secret agent yeah. with, like, CIA training or yeah. whatever. But, I don't know. Because he's been mind wiped by the MIB device. <laughs> I don't know. I tried yeah. to make that clever, and I felt. I mean, we're done. This movie is just exhausting. It, it exhausted us to think about. It exhausts us to talk about. Exhausts, exhausting to watch. I'm done. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, this is button jam. This was button jam. This uh, was our first. Uh, like semi regular scheduled jam session. Yeah, well, we'll find more shit to shoot. Shoot the shit things to shoot the shit about. Shoot. shoot we'll sh- shit. find more shit to shoot the about. <laughs> and sell seashores by the seashore. <laughs> <laughs> Se- okay. Seashells by the seashore. 
And uh, I guess we'll catch you next time, guys. Yeah. Play the outro. I didn't know we had one. Oh...